Konnichiwa everyone, this is Yoshiro. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay yung process na tinatawag nating Big Bang Necrosynesis. The process through which these light elements form are generally called the Big Bang nucleosynthesis. So for example, we have hydrogen and helium. So na produce ang hydrogen and helium during the process of nucleosynthesis. So kung mapapansin natin dito, so we have the atomic number of 1 and we have the mass number of 1. And also sa helium, we have the atomic number of 2 and we have the mass number of 2. But in, in some book or some references, we can write this as the element for example, hydrogen, we have the atomic mass at us, and then we have the atomic number. As we recall, atomic number is composed of, actually, we have protons is equal to the number of electrons. So, kaya ang tawag natin sa ganong atom is neutral atom. Samantalang dito naman sa taas is the combination for the atomic mass. So, ang atomic mass or mass number, same lang sila, is binubuo ito ngayon ng protons number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So, paano mag-determine ng mass number or atomic number? So, for example, here, sa hydrogen, meron tayong 1, pero wala siyang neutrons. So, kaya ang naging value niya is 1 plus 0. Kaya naging 1 ang kanyang atomic number or yung mass number. Samantaling, nasa kabila naman, we have helium. So, if we're going to write the atomic symbol, we have He for helium. Ang kanyang atomic number here is 2. Ibig sabihin, ang kanyang protons ay 2 at ang kanyang electron din ay 2. Now, dito naman sa atomic mass, sabi natin combination siya ng proton. So, meron tayong 2 proton at meron tayong 2. Kung mapapasin nyo dito, meron dalawang green. It represents the 2 neutrons. So, that's why we have 2 plus 2 or 2 protons plus 2. 2 neutrons, kaya tayo nagkaroon dito ng 4 as the mass number or atomic mass. So, we have here hydrogen. So, napaliwanag natin kung anong ibig sabihin ng atomic number and mass number. So, we have 1 proton as the atomic number and 1 as the atomic mass represented also by 1 proton plus 0 neutrons. So, kung mapapansin natin dito, we have the particle, we have the charge, we have the number and overall charge. So, so we have this one. As we can see, hydrogen is the most common element in the universe and it is the fuel that the star uses. So, nagsisimula nga siya sa ating element na hydrogen. Kaya siya tinawag na primordial element or siya yung pinakang unang element na ginagamit ng star sa pag-create ng energy at ng liwanag. So, pag-usapan natin yung nasa my right side here, we have the number of protons and neutrons. So, we have deuterium. So, pag sinabi natin uh, deuterium, this is actually the isotopes. So, nung nakarang usapan, sinabi natin na ang deuterium at tritium ay isang example ng isotopes. Pag sinabi natin isotopes, it has the same number of protons or atomic number but this has a different number of neutrons. So, kung mapapasin natin, yung deuterium ay merong 1 proton, ganun din ang tritium, we have 1 proton here, and ang kanyang neutron, magkaiba sila, 1 for deuterium, and one, uh, 2 for the tritium for the number of neutrons. So, magkakaiba sila ng atomic mass. So, sabi natin, para makuha natin yung atomic mass or yung mass number, that will be proton plus the number of neutrons. So, for deuterium, 1 plus 1, we got the atomic mass of 2 samantalang ang, ang tritium naman 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 so kung isusulat natin siya dito pwede natin siyang isulat as H for hydrogen kasi nga siya ay isotopes ng hydrogen atomic number is equal to number of protons kaya isusulat natin siya dito unahin muna natin itong deuterium so ilan nga ang kanyang uh, atomic number we have 1 kasi number of protons. Samantalang ang kanyang atomic mass, proton plus neutron. So, we have 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Kaya meron tayong element or isotopes here na 2H1. Or pwede rin natin siyang isulat as 2 deuterium 1. Or pwede rin natin siyang isulat as H 
dash 2 Okay, puntahan naman natin yung tritium. So, pwede natin siya isulat as H. Atomic number niya is also 1, number of protons. And then we have number of protons is equal to 1, number of neutrons we have 2. Kaya ang kanyang atomic mass is equal to 3. So, pwede natin siya isulat then as well as 3, 1, T. Or H dash 3. So, ito yung kanilang atomic mass. So, puntahan naman natin yung helium. So, ang helium is meron siyang atomic number of 2 because we have 2 protons and we have the atomic mass of 4. So, paano siya nagkaroon ng 4 as the atomic mass? So, pinagsama lang natin yung 2 protons plus 2 neutrons Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng atomic mass na 4. So, for example, we have here the helium is an isotopes of uh, helium 4. So, tingnan natin dito kung bakit siya naging helium 3 is because we have 2 protons. We have 1 neutron. Kaya siya nagkaroon dito ng 3 as the atomic mass. Samantalang yung ating helium, uh, helium 4, we have 2 plus 2. We have 4 as the atomic mass. So, isusulat natin siya dito. We have H, E. Ang atomic number niya is 2. Kasi isotope po siya ng helium-4. And then we have one, uh, 2 protons plus 1 neutron. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng tinatawag nating atomic mass of 3. Sa so, kabila naman, ang helium element, we have 2 as the proton or atomic number. And then we have the neutron. 2 plus 2, we have 2 plus 2 here. Kaya tayo nagkaroon dito ng 4. Okay, so sabi nga natin ang nucleosynthesis as the universe cool sa habang nag, uh, lumalamig yung pag-expand ng ating uh, universe. So habang nag-expand, lumalamig din siya. The proton and neutron can fuse, pwede siya magsama para makabutay ng mas mabigat na atomic nuclear aside from the helium and aside from the hydrogen. So for example, we have this one. So, sabi natin nagsama yung proton, so we have neutron, makabutay ng element or isotopes ng hydrogen which is the deuterium. We have, sabi natin, we have have 2, 1, H. And then, kapag ito ngayon is nabangga ng is another neutron, magiging 3, H, 1, o yung tinatawag nating tritium. Samantalang kapag siya nabangga ng isang proton, madadagdagan ng another proton ang tritium, kaya magkakaroon tayo ng product na helium, which is 2, H, E, 2. Oh, sorry, 4HE2. So, yun po ang nag-create. We have 2 neutrons and 2 protons. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng atomic mass of 4. So, let's proceed with the proton-proton chain reaction. So, kung mapapansin natin, magsisimula ang reaction sa the uh, protons and we have the neutrons. So, kung mapapansin natin, the combination ng proton plus 1 neutron, makakalbo tayo ng deuterium. At mapapansin tayo dito na tinatawag nating um, gamma radiation. So, this would be the sum of the radiation o yung init o yung liwa na nagmumula during the process of diffusion. And, and we have here... Kapag yung deuterium naman ay sumama sa isang proton, makakabuo tayo ng isotope ng helium which is H-3 at magpo-produce tayo ng another gamma radiation. And then pag nagsama ang dalawang deuterium, we have 2H1 plus another deuterium 2H1, makakaproduce tayo ng another isotopes ng hydrogen which is equal to tritium. We have a, a byproduct here. So, meron tayong byproduct dito na one proton. So, itong proton na ito is mag-uulit ng process. So, pag bumangga ulit siya sa isang neutron, same process ang mangyayari. Magpuproduce ito ng two um, H1 o yung tinatawag nating deuterium at mag-release siya ng panibagong gamma radiation. And then, kapag naman ang nangyari is the same process 2H1 2H1 plus 2H1 or deuterium to deuterium, magpo-produce ito ng helium but ang kanyang byproduct here is neutron. So kung sa yung kanina, this one, ang naging byproduct niya is proton, what will happen to this one is neutron naman ang na-produce kapag helium ang kanyang uh, na-produce kapag dalawang dalawang deuterium ang nagsama. So, kapag itong dalawang ito ang nagsama, one proton and one neutron, same process ang mangyayari. So, ang magiging byproduct niya dito is 2H1 
kasama dito yung gamma radiation. Next, we have the tritium combined with another deuterium. Magpo-produce tayo ng helium and meron by product tayong new so, ang mangyayari dito sa neutron na ito, magkakaroon siya ng fused uh, process dito sa uh, proton. So, mag magiging byproduct naman ito o magiging product is yung tinatawag nating deuterium. So, the process is still uh, happening. Kaya nangyayari dito, kapag ang isang tritium naman ay sumama sa isang deuterium, makakabuo din tayo ng helium. Uh, for HE2 pero maging by product pwede maging by product here is what we called as proton so what will happen here is magre-release ng panibagong proton at yun ulit ang mangyayari during the process of the proton-proton chain reaction up next stellar formation and evolution